hello youtube welcome back to my video so in my previous video we have checked how we can integrate uh, login with the uh, rest api uh, through facebook and get the uh, username of the logged in uh, user okay so i'll show you that uh, that project again so we have uh, we had uh, generated i mean we have created an index.jsp where we will ask the user to log in so and uh, we'll get uh, the access token a, a dynamic access token from the user and that access token is passed to sign-in controller and from this sign-in controller we are calling uh, get user details uh, you, you can see here uh, we are uh, we are calling get profile info inside the, the get user details and we are uh, dynamically getting the facebook username of the facebook and returning back to the sign in control and just printing the username okay so i'll show you again how it works i'm just running this profile to uh, running this project to run this project just right click on the index.jsp and select run as a run on server and wait for your project to be started yes uh, the project has started let me copy the link from here completely from here and go back to our uh, chrome browser and uh, this is our facebook app which we have created before opening uh, my uh, that link in our browser let me log in from uh, log out from facebook here so it will ask for we can see uh, it is asking for login again so if i'm just pasting that link here you can see here the login button is here let me click login here so it has uh, just pop up uh, to uh, asking uh, the facebook login so let me login uh, with my facebook user and i'll uh, show you how yes i have uh, just logged in so after i have uh, logged in you can see here my username is coming here okay so but only you the username is showing here so what if uh, we need to get the email id and the profile uh, picture of the user okay so all this code is based on the rest fb documentation you can see here if i'm going to restfb.com and uh, inside the website there is a documentation section so all i have used is a simple uh, snippet the code snippet the code snippet this one the user and uh, the username okay so what we are going to uh, get the next is fetching the multiple object which means we'll be uh, getting the name id and uh, if the email id and the profile uh, the profile image of the user also okay so let's uh, go for that so back to our project so we'll be uh, updating the get user uh, details uh, model class uh, we'll be uh, creating one more method inside where we can call uh, the function uh, we can call uh, use this code uh, we can use uh, this code fetch my fetch multiple object this code to get other information okay so i'm just uh, 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 creating one more method so i'm creating the method as uh, get profile info other okay i'm just creating a, a profile info as other so where, where we'll be uh, using uh, the code this one facebook fetch object result so here uh, they are saying like the fields name and id we are getting through that so anyway let's try so we'll be updating that code here it's here okay so as per the code uh, this uh, this code snippet is uh, returning an uh, json object as you can see here so here it is uh, here they are saying like it is uh, retaining a json object so let's assume it's a, a json object and we'll treat it as a json object okay so we have to import this one from uh, the rest of the uh, jar just press control uh, space and it will be imported now the json object is imported from rest of b dot json object and same way uh, we can import arrays this is from java dot util and uh, the parameter is also from rest of b okay so this json is actually returning a json object with the field name and id so i'm directly uh, going to print that one so let me re remove all this one and i'm just directly printing this fetch object result and let's just uh, for just for demonstration okay so i'm uh, returning and making it as void so it's not returning anything and we are not using the user profile object for demonstration and going to index dot uh, sign in control dot jsp we are not going to call the pro get profile info let me delete this one from here 
and uh, uh, we are not going to call the get profile info we are going to call the newly created object so it's uh, basically not returning anything so let's delete this and uh, we can call get profile info other the one which we have created now and it's actually passing access token okay so what in this uh, code it is this is um, as normal it is getting the uh, access token from uh, the index.jsp from there it will be forward the sign in controller and then from sign in control we will call the get other profile the profile info other so inside this we are getting the field name and id and it will be printed here okay so let me restart my server here and let's see how it works okay yes i have I just restarted the server now let's go back to our code and uh, just click go back so it will be refreshed and redirect back again uh, to our sign in controller let's see so it's redirected back to sign in controller with the access token so from the access token we have we are just uh, uh, passing as i told uh, the get profile info and you can see here we can in the controller it's printing our name and id as shown here okay it's a uh, same as the documentation section here we can see uh yeah uh, it's printing name and id so you can see here it's in me object in the name and id is printed here okay so we have uh, given a, a system dot out dot print line to fetch the complete result okay mm -hmm. now let's see let's try to add uh, two or three uh, more fields in there and let's see how is it coming or not and how we can use that uh, in the front end okay to view that in the front end so uh, as in the documentation we have just pasted one two three four five six seven eight nine what does this uh, this mean and uh, there is no any any return uh, returns from that uh, any significance uh, for this id in our return okay so this is uh, an example like uh, we can add unlimited i mean uh, a number of uh, user ids just like this to get uh, that uh, name of that user id uh, in the in the return type okay so for now we are not uh, taking any any other user ids we are just concentrating on me only now it's written the name and id so to get uh, the email id and uh, email id and uh, the profile picture of the user so uh, as i told the rest fb uh, uh, the rest fb api is uh, completely on the graph api documentation of the facebook so here is a link to get uh, into the graph api documentation let's go and check the graph api documentation here so here uh, i saw a here they are saying like we can uh, get uh, the user information and uh, which all fields we need so basically uh, we can add the id and name and the picture field in the user request itself so let's take uh, the picture from here and uh, paste it here and definitely uh, the email also okay so the uh, field email are the Mm, the name of the field is email itself so i have just put a comma and uh, put the email okay so i'll put the email the third one i'll show you why and I have just updated the code to get the name id email and picture of the user me okay so let's uh, restart the server again and uh, come back to our project and i'm just uh, pressing back button so it will uh, again get the uh, access token fresh access token and if i'm just pressing ok it will uh, take you to the sign in controller and let's see the output what is coming here it is so it's uh, getting the name id email and the picture of the uh, picture of the user okay so in the picture you can see here the url is there so let me copy all the url from here I'll, I'll copy uh, the complete complete response here okay so it's a big one copy it I'm pasting it in a notepad and from here we are going to take uh, the URL of the uh, profile so it will reach till here to this JPG okay so I'm just copying it copying it and come back to our pro, uh, the browser if I'm just pasting it here it should now we have to copy with all other information so it will be like till this yeah 
let me copy this from till here and paste it in the browser in fact I'm just pasting it here we can see here this is my profile image of my user okay so we have got the URL of the, the profile image so we can use this uh, use this to view that profile image uh, in the sign-in controller or front-end okay so to show that I'll show you what we have to do so uh, we are going to uh, use the user profile bean class so we will add uh, the ID the other variables here ID email and uh, picture okay and the same way we are going to get uh, the getters and setters of that just click on so like get and generate getters and setters and select all and just press ok okay so we can use uh, the variables of that user profile and in the get user details so we have got uh, the information like name uh, the, the other details in in an uh, JSON object so we can uh, pass that JSON object so I'm just activating the user profile here now the first one we are going to set is the ID so we can uh, set the IDs like set ID and we can get uh, so I'm going to uh, use a simple method to extract uh, the variables from the JSON object which we got as a return so what I'm going to do is I am first converting this uh, JSON into a string value so it will be like I'm creating a creating a new string variable for that so string term is equal to uh, fetch object result dot uh, to string so what uh, this does is this will directly convert this uh, uh this uh, uh, json object to a string value as uh, and it will be uh, get into the term string term okay so from the string a uh, term i am uh, so this will be the string term the, the all information and uh, yeah so what i'm going to do is uh, uh, the, the name the variable name will be uh, the substring between uh, this uh, substring value and this substring value okay so i'll show you uh, how i am doing that so it will be like uh, set id so term dot substring so we have uh, two indexes the first index is uh, index of one second uh, substring so it will be index of term actually so term dot uh, substring okay term dot substring and this is substring the value is uh, till this so it will be here and uh, add a backslash to treat uh, the double quotes as string value what is an error coming term dot substring oops sorry should be index of so i'm converting this one to index of okay and uh, same way uh, this should be till uh, this one and i have to put the index of this okay till this it's actually uh, the name so it will be like just put a backslash here 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 and here yes uh, it's okay now and same way i'm going to set other uh, other variable so it will be i'll update it here now updated the code we had uh, we made a mistake the first one was not you uh, id the first one which we done uh, was the use username and the username is the string value between this name and this one id okay and id is the string value between the id and email so id and email same way email uh, is the uh, is the string value between this email and this picture and uh, the picture is uh, uh, the string value between this URL and uh, this one till this uh, width okay now uh, let's uh, give a return type for this uh, uh, this one I mean this method and uh, I will add a return type as the object and here I'm going to write 
try catch so that if there is any exception we can get we can catch that exception and run the program without any error okay so uh, in the console i mean in the catch section i am giving a print value for that and the signing controller I have updated it like uh, to get a uh, uh to get the user profile user or profile object and print each value okay now let's try uh running this uh, project let me restart my server now what will actually happen is once the access token is received in this page it will pass to uh this method and in this method it will get uh, the uh name id and email and it is setting to this user profile object and this method is returning this user profile object okay and uh, as in the document Recommendation as I told, we are going to get only the user ID of me. We are not going to get a one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, seven ID actually for testing. I mean, for the documentation, it's uh, it is saying uh, you can get have uh, you can get the, the user multiple user information, so I'm not going to get that now. Let me uh, restart uh, the uh, restart uh, the server again and I'll show you how this works, okay. Now I have just refreshed our uh, project and if I'm just pressing OK, you can see here uh, my name and ID, everything is coming but uh, we did a mistake. We have to add uh, the substring plus one so it will be directly our name, email ID, everything is, will be correct. So in the profile, in the I have uh, just added a code I mean uh, to uh, uh, to get the index a little bit uh, uh, an offset to the so I have just added an offset to the index so that it will be perfect uh, perfectly uh, substring the substring will be taken perfectly okay now let me restart here as you can see if I'm just restarting here the username ID e email and picture path is coming perfectly okay so uh, our login uh, is successful to show this uh, Im image in this page we can use an image tag here in uh, the sign in controller slash img and in the src we can set uh, this complete path here okay now let's see if i'm just refreshing here the image should be coming there yes my image is coming okay so that's all how you can log in uh, completely uh, with your facebook user id and we are getting the email the picture uh, the username and the facebook id of uh, uh, the profile okay so this is using the rest of the api i have shown you the step by step how you can integrate completely from the scratch till this okay so in in my further videos we can test other fb resources like there are some apis to get uh, our news feeds uh, to get our post uh, to get our comments everything we'll test further in my next videos hope you got this if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share all the source code in my description you can have it and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching